what's the advantages of an ultrasonic process? Uh, it's efficient, so we can process more items quicker. It's more thorough, we're gonna clean better. It's gentle, so we're not using harsh brushes or, or scouring pads to scrub. And it's safe, because we're using water-based chemistries. What'll determine what's restorable versus what is not restorable? Uh, the proximity of the contents to a heat source. So if the flame is in the kitchen, and it's a toaster oven in the kitchen, you can pretty much determine that all the glassware above that is pretty much destroyed. We probably can clean it, but it's been altered. So molecularly, it's taken too much heat. So that would dictate that we're probably not gonna even try attempt to clean those types of items. Uh, height in the room, if, if something is up high, it's gonna, it's gonna catch more heat. Not, it's probably, in, if, if it's in the same room as where the fire is, probably not gonna be restored. You're probably better off total lossing that. Uh, if the material, the material was altered by heat. So if I have something plastic that is melted, we're gonna clean it, but we're not gonna, re, we're not gonna molecularly change the plastic back to its pre-molten state. Okay, so there, there are some things we cannot, we cannot do. Uh, the types of material that burn in the fire. So protein fires are typically easier to clean than, than electrical fires. Uh, the plastics will burn a little heavier, so you'll get more of that uh, petrochemical residue. Uh, the value of the contents. So something like Tupperware in the past, if you're doing it by hand, you'd probably toss the Tupperware. You'd total loss it. It's just not cost effective. With an ultrasonic machine, it is very cost effective. And Tupperware has value. If you're looking at the little disposable Ziploc containers that you get five for 279, you can clean them, but it probably doesn't make sense from a value standpoint. You're gonna spend more, you're gonna be charging more to clean it than it's worth. So the value of the contents will determine is it worth cleaning or not as well. In order to effectively clean it, to reduce, to remove all the odor, you gotta remove all the soot residue. So again, why ultrasound is so such a cool tool is that if you've got figurines that have holes in them, the ultrasonic bubble pretty much will go wherever there's liquid. So it can pull this residue out of all the crevices that you physically couldn't have a technician get in with a brush.